Hello guys, in this video I want to review one code of Livewire component of a simple Laravel CMS. And at first, when I got this code, I thought, whoa, another Laravel CMS, boring. But when I looked into the code and looked at the project itself, I've installed it quickly here. It's built with Laravel Livewire and pretty interesting thing to review, both in terms of how it works, so some of you can learn from that, and also I will review the code and maybe add my own suggestions. So how to create CMS like this with models with Livewire. So when you click create, you have this as a model, fill in the form, slug is automated, for example, if you type in something. So a lot of fancy things, but at the same time, it's simple. Let's take a look at the code. Before we proceed, if you're not that familiar with Livewire, I have a few courses for you to start or to improve. So if you search Livewire on my laravel.daily.teachable.com, for beginners, I have practical Livewire from scratch. For more advanced users, I have Advanced Laravel Livewire and two practical projects that I've created with Livewire, one with Jetstream, one without Jetstream. So you can choose one of those courses or get all of the courses with my yearly membership, which currently has 32 courses and you would get everything I will release for a year ahead. Now back to the code. In the code for that page, we have Livewire component of pages to manage pages. First, let's quickly run through that component and then we'll stop on some certain things to improve or review. So validation rules for the page, resetting the page for the list, creating the model so that variable, that property is responsible for showing the model form, then update of the page, then delete confirmation, updated title is doing the sluggable thing and a few more properties to update automatically a few things to unassign so we'll get to that in a minute model data is some kind of transformation create is actually saving the data so first validation then unassigning things and then dispatching browser event for the notification which happens elsewhere then read and update and delete and render this is the main thing actually in my opinion i would put render method i will do exactly that put the render method somewhere on top so first thing when i review livewire component is what happens when it's rendered so first i would like to see mount method and then render so mount is somewhere here i'm not even sure it's needed because i don't see pagination here to be honest but let's put it here okay so mount and render and now let's go deeper what that component does and what can we improve and what is underlined by php storm for example one by one first the underlining of variables which means missing properties type declaration and since php 7 7.4 from what i remember it became pretty typical to define the types it's not strictly necessary but it is advisable and this is a habit thing when you get into the habit of doing that you would do that automatically if you don't do that if you don't specify the types here at least the variables should be absolutely clear what is the data so model form visible it's not exactly clear that it's a boolean unless it has a default value of false now i understand it is boolean model id clear that is integer title slug content probably clear that those are strings and is default home is default 404 that prefix is it's actually a good one because it tells us that it is a boolean variable so in this case it's not strictly necessary to add variable types property types but it may be a good habit to have in the future in general for the mount reset page I don't really understand why it is needed because there is no pagination here from the very beginning. Reset page should happen if the pagination changes with some kind of search. So I didn't see that in the component anywhere. Let's try to remove that altogether and see if it still works. Refresh the page. Nothing really changed. So I assume that this is not necessary here. It is just generated by Livewire CRUD generator, which I will review separately in a future video. Probably tomorrow or in a few days, I will review another thing from this project, which is a generator of that CRUD. So probably that comes from that generator. So this read, what do we have here in this read and why is it underlined by PHP Storm? Read is pagination. Okay. And why is it underlined? What PHP Storm says? Void method read result used. Void method. Why is it void? Oh, 
it returns void. So that's another thing, kind of like a styling, so it doesn't really break anything on the screen, but inconsistency in return types. Yes, PHP allows that. Depending on your PHP version and settings, it may be more strict. And that has been for years criticism of PHP that it allows a lot of freedom with variables and types and all of that. So general as an advice, as a habit for all of us to prove to the world that PHP is a great language, let's all try to keep everything in order. And instead of void, it should be what? Collection probably. So we should return collection here or it's an eloquent collection or here collection like this. And then is it underlined? Let's try to scroll up. Uh, no, it's not underlined anymore. Great. So in the read, we get five pages and we assign that to pages. Now what is inside of Livewire pages blade? Pages blade, views Livewire pages. It has some jet stream functionality and then the table if for each shows the data and has some wire clicks, update show model and delete show model. And let's actually see what's inside of those. So update show model, it was somewhere here in the pages. And what do we have here? ID, again, underlined because it's not declared the type. So integer ID, then we reset the validation and reset all the form. Then we assign the model ID variable. Then we find that page to get all the data. And then we fill in the form fields in the model for title, slot content and all of that with the data from the database. This part I don't particularly like because majority of those variables are absolutely the same. So why would you have a separate this title, slug and content? I would rather work with data as a variable and then assign the forms fields to data.title, for example, or data.slug. And then, for example, this transformation for camel case from snake case in the database, that could be totally shortened to avoid all of that. I would work with the data. In this video, it would take quite a lot of transformation to change that. So I would save you some time and would not do that, but you get the idea. You don't assign five fields these. So even these could be deleted instead of those that would be public data or public even better page page like this. And then you work with the page as a variable instead of those individually. Okay, let's get back to the original code. So we would be able to proceed with other methods. Delete show model is showing the confirmation delete. And those are here, jet dialog model with model form visible or not. So that's one dialog with all that form with cancel and update. And it's actually reusing the same dialog for create and update. That's pretty smart actually, if it works. So here, instead of wire model this, I would do page is default 404, for example, directly from the database. Get back. And then the delete page dialog, model confirm delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Reusing blade components of Laravel Jetstream and wire click delete, call the delete method, this one. So destroy and then dispatch browser event. Then I want to quickly stop on creating, which is actually saving the data. So I would even rename that to store or something like that. But what it does is validation. And then we have an assigned default homepage, which from what I understand is an assigning the homepage property from all the other pages, or in fact, another one page, which is default home. That would be probably a scope in the page model. Oh, it's not even a scope, it's just where, but it works the same way pretty much. So we unassign the default homepage, unassign the default 404 page. That's an interesting decision before saving the new page and assign something from other pages. And then creating the page with model data. And that's kind of continuation of my thought of why would you transform the data from the database into some kind of other structure, other variables, other array? Why don't you something like this page save something like that would be because that this page would contain already an eloquent model and then you don't need any transformations because you work directly with database data but i'm starting to repeat myself so generally create method is okay except for those data transformations and same thing with update 
Again, if you're working with the data as array, then you need to do page where. So that's another database query, which can be avoided. And that's pretty much it. Not much more happening. You can take a look at, for example, another Livewire component similar to this one for managing users, where you would see repeating patterns of create model data, those variables of model form visible name and role as strings. And you can see all of that in the repository, which is publicly available on GitHub and you can test it yourself and maybe provide some feedback directly to the author, raise some issues, open pull requests for changes and contribute. And as I mentioned in a day or two, I will review a separate part of this repository of this project, which is for generating of those components. And you would understand why they are quite similar in the console comments crud live wire command. So how those are generated and what would I improve there? Watch the upcoming video and to be notified, of course, subscribe to the channel. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.